Hello, Shanna Rowe Jackson here, and today I'm going to show you something a little bit different than my regular style. I am working on a graphic story, and this is a drawing for one of my panels. Right now, what you see me doing is transferring my initial line drawing, which I did on regular um, sketch paper, onto some Strathmore Mixed Media 400 series paper, which is a little bit more heavyweight. I plan on using some water media with it, so I needed a paper that would hold up a little bit better than regular sketch paper. And all I'm doing, all I did was put a little bit of charcoal on the back of my initial drawing and transfer it by tracing over it. Another easy way to do that would be with a light table. My light table is not easily accessible at the moment, so I found that this was a good alternative. So right now I am just sketching out the hand. And this hand is going to have some stones in it. I'm just using my mechanical pencil to go over my initial outline so it's darker so I can see it when I start working in color. And because this is something that I am going to be doing, I'm going to be outlining in black anyway, I am not concerned if my outlines are showing. It's not meant to be strictly realistic, so I am not concerned that those outlines are going to be showing through. And I am using Derwent Ink Tents and a watercolor brush and a little mini water well to get my watercolor effects. I just scribble a little bit of the colors on the bottom and wet it down and use it like watercolor. And then later on, you'll see me come through with some pencils to liven things up a little bit and it actually works really well I just use like um, a couple like a tan and a magenta and once you water it down it actually made a really good skin tone so right now I'm just going through I'm using light layers and I'm when I go through and I start layering I start layering a little bit heavier in the places where there's going to be shadow and I'm not being too careful about staying in the lines because I want it to have the painterly watercolor effect. And I have to apologize that I do move the paper quite a bit throughout this. So now I'm just adding some shadows. And I'm using... Um, the brushes that I'm using came with a watercolor kit from their De La Rowney watercolor brushes. I can't remember the exact size that I used. They're beautiful brushes and it's funny because I've always used De La Rowney for my acrylics for years but for some reason I never thought to look into their other products. I absolutely love these watercolor brushes. I didn't use the watercolors, the De La Rowney watercolors for this because I've just been having fun experimenting with my ink tents. So I'm trying to get to know that medium a little bit better. Um, but in future projects, I may end up incorporating actual watercolor. And the ink, the reason why I like the ink tents is because once they dry, they stay dry. They won't lift off with water like watercolor pencils or regular watercolor will. So they're a lot more permanent. Although really with this project, it, it's not... A huge concern because this is actually a very small piece of a very larger project that will be incorporating a lot of um, digital layering and and things like that once it becomes the a piece of my actual book but for other projects I I love the fact that ink tents don't lift off it can be a blessing and a curse because there are times when you you want to get in there to fix mistakes before it dries but other than that, it really works much the same as other watercolors and watercolor pencils. So I'm just adding a little bit more shading on the hand. And I turned it upside down because the lower part of the hand was still kind of wet, which made my lines much darker than I wanted on the rocks. So I turned it upside down and decided to work on that top rock first. And I'm just going through and doing my shading and as you can see right there the um, 
the blue was a little bit darker than I probably had that I had anticipated to begin with. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a brush that doesn't have much on it and I am lifting a little bit out with water and using my sleeve because I forgot to put some paper towels next to me. Um, these sleeves are actually very well covered in paint by now, which is why I wear this while I am drawing and painting. I don't mind if I get anything on it. So now I'm just blending some of the, the lines that I put on the rocks. Now I'm going to go back in and darken things up a bit again. And as you can see, it is very, very light layers. And some of it bleeds together, and that's fine. Like, it, it really goes along with the whole watercolor look. So now I'm getting ready to do my background. I have a lot of blue in my book, so I'm using this light blue for a lot of the backgrounds in my panels. And it's just a simple background. I'm not caring about how my pencil strokes look, because I know I'm going to blend most of it out. And I don't, I want a messy look, so I'm not paying as much attention to the direction of my pencil strokes as I would if I were doing one of my realism pieces in colored pencil, nor am I caring about coverage as much because I know that the water will help with that. And I didn't think to um, to film my initial process at first, so it started kind of late in the game. I would have liked to have some more of my panels. I would have liked to record when I drew out some more of my panels, and because I may end up doing a video later on that shows my book, it'll be like a slideshow style video. So I'm just cleaning things up around the edges a little bit and um, spreading it out a little bit, adding a little bit more in and I'm doing some splattering which is, I apologize that the paper has moved quite a bit. And then in the places that, while it's still wet, in the places that the splatter got like in places that I didn't want it to be, like on the hand, I was able to lift it really easily because it was so watered down. So now I'm using my Faber-Castell Pit Pen, I think it's size F, to do all the outlining to give it that graphic look. And it's basically just going over my regular outlining. I may clean things up a little bit or add a, a line here or there that wasn't initially there while I'm, because I do have a reference photo. I actually took a photo of my own hand holding some stones that I have. So um, I'm trying to, you know, I go according to the lines that I see on the hand. Now I'm going to go through with one of my darker brown pencils and I am just kind of beefing up some of the shadowing a little bit, getting that finer detail in there. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.